give an example of trigonometry function which has a period of 180 degrees y a obviously um, tan x because tan has 180 degrees but you could have something like well normally sine x has got a period of 360 degrees that repeats every 360 degrees so sine x starts here goes up there that's 360 degrees but we could squish this if we squish that so it was squished inwards we could actually get two of those in a in 360 degrees and so if I have sine of 2x then that would be now the period would be 180 because I've been squashed it so I could have that or cos 2x okay b solve this equation as a sine 3x equals 0.5 so I need to do 3x equals sine to the minus 1 0.5 and that means that 3x equals that's obviously 30 degrees but again unit circle that's a sine axis with the i going straight up to remind you it's the up axis because 0.5 is there that gives you 30 degrees but you've either got that, that bit there which is 0.5 or this one across here and that angle from here is obviously 150 degrees so it's 30 or 180 minus 30 and each of those repeats every 360 degrees so add 360n because it could be n could be one then just add 360 or it could be two in which case you add 720 or it could be three etc now you've got to divide by two by three because you don't want three x's you just want one x so x equals divide by three is 10 degrees plus divide that also by 10 divide by three gives you 120 n degrees or 150 divided by three is 50 plus uh, 120 n because i have to also divide the 360 by three now we can work out what it is between 0 and 180 exclusive so x equals it certainly could be 10 degrees or it could be 50 degrees here or if n's one that would be 130 degrees or if n's one here would be 170 degrees or but if this next one here is two that would be 240 250 and 250 is beyond 180 so that's my answer and that's done